it first came about that the 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 giants that they might be giants got involved with with our radio show, This American Life, uh, because we decided to do a story about dial a song for one of the one of the um, shows that we were putting together about uh, about telephones and people using telephones and telephone message machines for odd little projects, and um and when we contacted them we were sort of stunned to find out that they had heard of us to to us they seemed like impossibly huge stars and it was mind blowing to think that they had, they had, it turns out they're big public radio listeners and our shows on public radio so it turns out that they n- knew who we were and were really happy to do the interview and incredibly gracious and gave a great great interviews for this story that that Sarah Val one of our contributors put together um and then not long after, within a year or so, we, we were putting together, a, uh, we were going to take our show out on the road. I mean, we're a documentary radio program on public radio, so it's kind of like a, like this is like where we do the show, like it's pretty small. And we thought we'd take the show out on the road and do it in front of a live audience, and it seemed like, well, let's, you know, like a band, like <laughs> excitement, showbiz, like, you know, and and, uh, and so we thought about who we could get, and we, we, we called up... Uh, we caught up. Uh, they might be giants, and um, and w- originally we just thought like, okay, they'll play a couple songs in between the stories. So, like we'll do a, the, one of our stories, and then they'll do a song, and they'll do another story, and then they'll do a song. Um, um, it, it gives you a sense of of like the, their relationship to what showbiz is, and and their sense of like th- like old fashioned showbiz values. W- what happened with us when we tried to put on this live show, uh, with them as the band, um. John Flansburg had listened to our show a lot, and um, there are certain pieces of music that we would use all the time as the kind of underneath scoring music, like scoring in a movie, underneath the, s- the stories. And he said, well, you know, in addition to playing the songs in between the stories, you know, we could do the scoring music and, in fact, give us a CD, burn us a CD, which has the 10 songs that you guys use the most. And it's all like, you know, there's a combination of, like, you know, 60s, like, instrumentals, Booker T and the MGs. Um, there's a Hugh Masekela song that we use a lot. Um, there's, there, uh, you know, there's stuff like this Bill Frizzell song. And this, I mean, then the, 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 like, a horn comes in, like a tuba. And um, and plans 